I can see you're in the mood for dancing. I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Told you I like this guy. I'm in the mood for dancing. Does Grundy come after it just because it's loose? Oh, yeah. King Dew suited. Trying to run down his nemesis. Open-ended straight draw for Marcel. Checks around. There we go. So Marcel has the straight. Grundy has now got the flush draw. This is going to get weird. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is great. Three X rays from Marcel. Grundy obviously taking it personally. After the last time they exchanged words. Marcel, very comfortable. <laughs> Rundy just calls. Oh, the all important river card. Man, and that club. No club oh, on the river, but it is a pair for Grundy. Oh, is he looking to snap it off here? That's what I'm wondering. Just 60 into 200. Yeah. I mean, this might be genius. Can he induce Grundy? I mean, either way. The Milky Bar kid's hand ain't good enough. I've got so salutes, that's hardly anything here. I can beat the sickest bluff. <laughs> It's not that sick of a bluff to bet 60 here. There's so much in the middle. Yeah, I like it. I'm just talking to myself. I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Poor dealer is like, what? <laughs> this might be the longest tank we've seen. Yeah. Great size value bet from Marcel. I thought it was a little small, but maybe Grundy would have folded for more. I think that's one of the best hands we've seen so far, especially when you realize that it was informed by that confrontation between the two earlier. Kings, or I have to play for the queen. Yeah, you be watching me, huh? I have to play those schmubby hands now. <laughs> Mom, can you come pick me up now? Marcel Lusk told me he was named after a boxer. That is a hashtag. Real fact. Fun fact. Fun fact, yes. So, time to sweat with Marcel, don't, Joe, don't, and play this hand from his perspective. Don't, well, don't check how much you do. Oh, 24. Yes. Sorry. I was going to say, James, if I were playing this hand, I would ask the guy to my right how much I should raise. I thought you were offering me out for dinner. <laughs> we raised to sixty-five thousand. Then raises to six thousand. So re-raise from Ben Grundy. How much did we? Okay, well we're calling. It doesn't seem completely unreasonable to only call. 
40 more, is that all it was? With nine tennis spades, but this is not a dream flop for us. No. And I'm probably just going to check back and hope to pick up some equity on the turn. Yeah, pick up a straight card or a spade. Instead, it's the four of diamonds. Man, it's checked twice. So, I mean, he's completely missed and playing like a goober, or he's got something huge, and I'm weighted towards him uh, having something huge here. Slow playing aces, kings, queens, a set of jacks. Well, Marcel's going to try and buy it. <laughs> I don't know what you three bet with that you check twice. Uh, other than like crazy value hands. Wow, okay. <laughs> Ace Queen was the hand for Grundy. He was ahead. Okay. So, I guess. I was super connected. I you're lucky space I don't want space. I just want the low flop. Nice play myself. I guess I was wrong about the strength of his hand, but also he probably should have bet at some point. If I put my chips in there, That's unless false. you go all in, I will not lay down my hand. You guys need 40, 50, 60, 80. I had a good hand. You're lucky I had the hand that didn't hit, the only hand that I raised there with that doesn't hit the flop. Yeah, that's why I took the extra card first. Because sometimes you are rude enough to play like you have three jacks now. Yeah, but I, could, I, I would check two with any pair of the jacks and wait. I know, I know your game. But you take me, I know what you take me for. A pair of nines, or tens, or eights. <laughs> you ah. pay to see the last card for 50,000. You were saying something about the friendships that they make? Anyway? Here we go. It's been a while since we've seen a move like this. Motan. Welcome back to 2006. A couple of options with Jack-5. The most reasonable of which is to fold and never look at the hand again. The second of which is to shove all in for your tournament life on the final table of the grand final in EPT Monte Carlo 2006. Hussein has chosen the latter of these options. Wait, which card are you going to show? Then I'm going to sit there. <laughs> you can see one. Raymer, Hashem, watching from the rail. Wow. Wow. Lusk folds the king queen. That one? This is the jack. Which one do you want? Yes, oh, that one. Tell That's me which one you want. This one? Yeah. It's a five. <gasps> Joe Hashem can't believe face. it. Hashem stunned. <laughs> you still had me beat. You probably did. Three, four, seven. Uh, he showed a five. Hey, I think you had three, four suited, despite yeah. the five we all just saw. <laughs> Hey, it's 2006. When you have your read, you stick with it. You stick with that read. Don't change your read. <laughs> I can see you're in the mood for dancing. I'm ready. <laughs> Told you I like this guy. So blind on blind. blind be blind. Suit and tie versus suit. Best to get chips. Marcel looks a little short. I haven't been looked. I know. You want me to look first? <laughs> I don't really want you to call. Call me old-fashioned. I think the guy who's uh, has the action on him first should look first. But. Well, Karam shoved on Lusk. Lusk calls all in. It's Jack seven against eight. Marcel, the at-risk player, but he is ahead. 
Ten. No jack, no diamonds. Four. Seven on the turn. And it's always <laughs> coming seven. And Mark Karam eliminates Marcel Lusk. Marcel out in seventh place, cashing for 112,000 euros. Clap. It's a clap chat. Ha, 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 ha.